Resilience is interesting because there are two factors that tend to show what our resiliency range is. One is, is the DNA, what, what do we get genetically? And secondly, our early life experiences. Those you can't change, but what you can change is through motivation and wisdom, you can expand your resiliency range. And it's very, very important to expand your range. One of the ways to do that is to have a more balanced picture of yourself. In many cases, we think, well, we, we don't stare enough at our defenses. We're not honest enough with ourselves about our shortcomings. Well, that may be true to some extent, but I think it's the opposite. I think in the theme of positive psychology and narrative therapy, uh, we need to look at our gifts and our growing edges uh, simultaneously. Years ago when I was trained, uh, my training analyst said to me, he said, you know, he said, I just heard your case presentation and you covered the pathology well, but he said, that's not going to do it alone. I said, what do you mean? He said, if you just focus on a person's shortcomings with them, you're going to do all the work in the room because you're the only healthy person. I never forgot that, so that when uh, Seligman's work on positive psychology came out, I began to realize we need to focus on our gifts, our talents, and then look at those situations where our gifts become growing edges. So if a person comes in and she says to me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm too impulsive or I'm, I'm always, you know, saying things that I shouldn't be saying and, and the way I need to start is you're a passionate person. You don't want to give away the passion. I mean, we've got enough of people that aren't passionate about life. The question you're asking is when, does, when and how can passion be pruned so it doesn't become disruptive to others or to yourself in ways that make no sense? So one of the important things in resilience is recognizing your gifts, recognizing the situations when they become growing edges, and finding ways that you can change your narrative so that it's not dictated by your past, by culture, but by you. You're the one who has the responsibility, and as they say in the literature, you're the one who has the copyright on your own narrative.